Hey guys, I'm here today with the kit of the month from Spellbinders for May 2022. It's called Koala Smiles. Here is an inspiration card and in the back tells you how to put it together. It also has the contents listed if you need it for reference. I've gone ahead and laid out the nine pieces of cardstock you get. Here's your double-sided mirror gold cardstock. A blue, green, pink, purple, brown, gray, black, and white. The dye this month is so precious. It is the koala bear. Isn't that sweet? I love it. And what's nice is that in the kit you get your colors to use for the koala. You have the koala bear, its feet and ear, or not ear, but its feet and nose. You have a branch and then some sentiments. You have the leaves and um, I believe this is the inside of the ear of the koala. With, I'm trying to look, um, there's its feet. This is the end of the branch. Um, and then we have in, hang, there, let's soon. So hang in there, um, let's hang soon. Um, buildable sentiments. As always, you get your 10 card bases, 10 envelopes, your double-sided tape with your dimensionals. This month's sequins are very pretty. They're very, very bright pink. I like those. Stamp set this month is very pretty as well. You have this floral stamp. And then we have you are celebrated today because to know you is to love you to a beautiful person. Bunches of thanks. Your thoughtfulness touched my heart. Hugs, kisses, and lovely birthday wishes. Lovely... Love you, hope you feel better today, or hope you feel beautiful today. So really pretty stamp set. Then we have some foam stickers. They've included these stickers um, similar to this before in their kit. It was a bigger pack, but um, I really like them. They're very nice. So we have hello, hey, love you, thanks, smile, hi, happy, hi, hello, thanks. <laughs> so I like these stickers and then you get some hearts. You get these little circle um, letters. They remind me of a typewriter, but they are gold foiled. So you have love you, hello, hi, happy, birthday, enjoy, darling, thanks, smile, always lovely. And then a couple, uh, an exclamation point, a pound sign. So those are cute. We get some chipboard stickers. This matches the stamp set. Perfectly. That'd be nice to use as color inspiration as well. And then at this side as well. Very pretty. Oh, I like that strip. That's neat. Here is your pattern paper. You get two of each design, so we'll flip through these really quick. Really pretty. I like this. The boards. It's very pretty. It had gold. Just flipping through these really quick. Ooh, that's pretty. I like the different colors. Kind of purple and pink in there. It's also gold foiled. A map. That's pretty as well. The pops of pink in there and purple. Is this the first page? Nope. Oh, it's not. It, sorry, I'm expecting it to repeat because they they put their paper differently and they put it t both next to each other instead of one set and then another set. So <laughs> I'm waiting for it to repeat and it won't. Oh, this one's sweet. It has the baby koalas. Oh my God. So precious. That's sweet. And that is your pattern paper. And I will go ahead and show you the ephemera. Move this stuff out of the way. I'm not gonna lay everything out um, just to save time, but I will kind of go through it. You do get two of each ephemera sheet and there's some hearts. And you always, as, as always, you do get a lot of 
ephemera pieces. And these is probably going to be heavy and floral because that's what the stamp set was. Um, which is nice this month because the floral, the flower like this, is very different. So that that's really cool because it can kind of feel the same whenever you get you know floral themed kits. Um, but I haven't worked with this flower. This is sweet. So we have the koala bear that you know lives in Australia, and this is the. Is that a kookaburra, kookaburra bird? Family forever, always. With all my hearts. Oh, that's sweet. We can focus. A little koala bear. Well, th this is interesting. It makes me wonder if these plants are real plants. Um, inspired from real plants and if they're found in Australia. So if you live in Australia or you know of the plant that it's trying to um, emulate, let me know. I'd be interested in knowing. Kangaroo. That's sweet little house. This little koala bear. So it's nice that you get two because this kangaroo, because you can always hoard one and then use one. Happy birthday. Another house plant. Kangaroo. Oh, I like the bigger bird. Sentiments that you can punch out. So this is really unique. I like it. So we will go ahead and move into my 10 cards. If you're interested in the kit, it will be linked below. Um, and as you're watching this, let me know what your favorite card is. All right, guys, we will go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna do card in, card one and two together because they have to do with that sweet little koala. Um, I filmed this quite a while ago. I got the, you know, Spellbinders sends me the kits, which I'm so grateful for. Um, so to get kind of ahead, I filmed these quite a while ago and I thought I filmed putting together one of the koalas, but I guess I didn't. It's really easy to put together if you get one of these kits. The instructions show what each of the dies are and then just by looking at the picture, you can easily tell how to put the koala together. So, um, you know, you, if you get this kit and are worried about that, or you're interested in the kit, worried about that, there's no need to, to worry. It's, pr it's pretty simple. So, um, I tried to make the two koalas a little different as far as where they are on the branch and, and whatever. Um, but they are so cute. It's just such a cute die. I'm using the hang in there sentiment die pieces that came in the kit and I um, die cut them out onto some um, the gold cardstock that came in the kit and um, I used some double sided tape or some adhesive sheet to make them a sticker because I knew it would be a uh, kind of a pain to add adhesive to it once they were die cut. This makes things a lot easier. And then of course using reverse tweezers helps a ton to hold on to your sentiments. And then I added an ephemera piece for the sentiment um, for the card on the right. So moving on to card three just attaching some of the pattern paper. The card bases are from the kit. They are A2 size, um, four and a half, excuse me, four, five and a half by four and a quarter. The three floral pieces I thought were really pretty together and um, I went ahead and popped them up and attached them to the card. Here I'm attaching Hello, the um, little chipboard stickers. They are adhesive in the back, they're sticky. However, um, I add glue just to kind of um, add that extra protection that they don't pop off. Um, 
all chipboards, I've said this before, so I'm a repeating, you know, a broken record, but all chipboards I have worked with, all different companies, they're never sticky enough. So I always add glue to them. And then I did add a few gemstones. These gemstones are um, from my stash. And I think this was the kit I worked with where I had stuff laying on top of the sequins and <laughs> I didn't use any of the pretty sequins that came in the kit because I forgot about them and they were hidden from me. So um, I ended up using these gemstones that I have next to me and uh, trying to use them up. So I love this card. I love that kangaroo. Um, added some flowers behind it. The butterfly popped it up and then popped up the kangaroo and then added the sentiment happy day. I think that's really cute. And it could be for anything birthday, celebration, whatever. Here's an ephemera frame. I'm going to go ahead and add some glue to that. Attach that. And then I'll go ahead and add a cluster of ephemera pieces. Some florals. And then I do believe I add a kangaroo to this. Yeah. Again, I love the illustrations of the animals. They're just so, um, you know, aside from the flower in its hair or in its ear, it looks pretty realistic. I'm going to add some gemstones and then that'll complete that card. It's really pretty. Card six, again, typical, added some of that pattern paper. And then I did cut a strip of the gold foiled cardstock and then I'm gonna layer it with this, just so it kind of has a little um, gold cardstock peeking through. Um, you can, of course, not waste a whole chunk of gold cardstock and just cut strips, but I have so much gold cardstock, I don't think I'll ever run out in my life. <laughs> so I just sacrificed the whole piece and then added some gemstones. Perfect little birthday card. Um, something simple just trying to straighten out that sentiment because I always like to put things a little crooked try to mix things up with how I lay out the pattern paper so kind of did this pattern um, adding another little frame which I really liked and I love these pieces of I don't know what plant that is, but I really like the way it looks. And then I'm going to pop up the bird. This is actually one of my favorite cards. Of course, I love anything with birds, but just the whole layout and the color scheme of this card, I really enjoy. And then hello again, it's um, on sticky paper to make it really easy to adhere. Highly recommend. I will, um, hopefully I don't forget, but I will link some of the adhesive sheets that I get that just, when I remember to use them, are a lifesaver for little bits and pieces. Um, if you're not into kind of fussy dyes because they have so many little pieces, try and you're not, you haven't tried the adhesive sheets, definitely try them. It does make things a lot easier when it, putting things together. Trying to see if I like this placement, and I do. I'm going to go ahead and adhere everything. I did use one of those tags, and then that white twine is something I had in my stash that I added. And then I will add um, the sentiment. Actually, let me backtrack. I think so... I'm trying to think. I believe that Hello Sentiment and this one, I think, yes, this is actually from the sticker sheet, not the die set. So this card and the last card, I believe those are from the sticker sheet. So my apologies. I made, made a mistake when I spoke previously. So I did like the this map pattern paper because of the picture. Some of the ephemera pieces went really well with 
what I would consider to be like a traveling theme. So I kind of clustered all them together. Little ticket ephemera pieces, tuck those back there. And I did do believe it's a birthday sentiment, birthday card. Um, so, you know, if you have someone that likes to travel, I think this would be a cute birthday card. Oh no, it's memories. Okay. I can't see. I'm trying to see in my little video editing software and I'm like, what does that say? <laughs> so yeah, birthday that the memories thankful always is a lot more fitting than a birthday card. So anyway, final card. Um, I had to use this sweet, sweet pattern paper with the koalas on it. And then I cover most of it, but you know, whatever, kind of cut a triangle out of this pattern paper and Again, trying to come up with different layout ideas of pattern paper. That's what I struggle with the most with the, you know, with any kit because it's like how many different layouts are there? Um, I do kind of go to Pinterest and look at layouts occasionally. Um, but at the same time, I want, I want to keep them simple. I'm making 10 cards. And so if you want to replicate any of these, I don't want it to be too uh, involved. Let's go ahead and tuck some of these pieces behind them. And then I did pop him up and I haven't adhered him down yet, so I will now. It's just hey there. And then I do use a sentiment to stamp out this. Your thoughtfulness touched my heart, stamped out perfectly, cut that out into a small strip, and go ahead and adhere that down. And that completes my 10 cards. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorite card was. All products to the kit and all that will be linked below if you're interested. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.